Good evening. May God's providence and protection be always with you. I have traveled a lot. <clears throat> I've gone to the poorest places in South Africa, to the favelas in Rio de Janeiro, to the housing, to the poorest sections of Los Angeles, Boston, and Washington, D.C. So I always wear my clerical color in black. So recognizable. Many times, it's the other Christians who want to debate with me that Catholicism is wrong. What I would like to tell you today is that a few times, mas nagdidebate yung mga ibang sekta. A few times, some people will approach me and say, ask something, and then they will tell me, I do not believe in God. Okay. I do not become insecure. Tell me, what kind of God do you not believe in? They cannot tell me. You describe the God that you do not believe in. You just become an atheist without definition. Because in the first reading, the Greeks in uh, the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, and Lystra especially when they perform a miracle, lame from birth, crippled man, walk. So the Greeks in Lystra said they are gods in human form. So they called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes. And the priest of Zeus brought oxen and they wanted to offer sacrifice to them as gods. So Paul said, why are you doing this? We are human beings. We proclaim to you the good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. He gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts they still continue to offer sacrifice to them. Because their understanding of God is polytheism. There are many gods. And they, they are like human beings. Zeus, for example, will commit adultery. Mercury will... Mars will kill... his God of war. My point is, if you are not very clear on the kind of God that you do not believe in or the kind of God that you believe in, you will make wrong decisions. And that is why we really need to pray to the Holy Spirit to clarify to us, in spite of our frailty, in spite of our blindness, to clarify to, God, to us the kind of God that Jesus revealed to us. Very important. I know that for many Catholics, they, they do not care about it as long as they could light their candles and then say their novena and then join in the procession. They're already okay. And then the wrong ideas of God will make them make decisions also that are not in accord. That is in contrast to the commandments of Jesus. Because he said, whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him. We believe in the God of love. Creates us to be free. 
gives us a mind that can seek after the truth. And it is an insult to him if we do not use that mind to find out who he really is. And so we have idols like the people from Lystra, the Greeks, worshipped idols according to St. Paul. It was 2,000 years ago. Now we have different idols. Basketball players, athletes, you know, singers, artists in Netflix and in the movies. We, they are idols. We identify with them. So if they run for political positions, even if they are incompetent, they do not have the skills to govern and make laws, we will in the, because they, are our, they have become our idols. Why? We do not have a clear idea on the kind of God as Father that Jesus revealed to us. So we pray to the Holy Spirit to reveal to us the Father of love. Because some people believe in God, like Albert Einstein, one of the greatest geniuses in the 20th century. E equals MC squared. He could not also accept that no one gives us rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and fill us with nourishment and gladness for our hearts, he could not believe that there's no one like that. But on, only his understanding of God is like a computer. Got his understanding from Baruch Spinoza, a philosopher in the 16th century, believe it. You have to Posit God according to him because the universe had a beginning and somebody has to start it. So very many philosophers would say after he started it, he took a vacation, something like that. Does not care about us. Whether we die or we live. Does not care. The God of Einstein and the God of many philosophers. The God of Einstein does not care whether Hitler kills 6 million Jews, whether Stalin kills 25 in the gulags, and whether Putin bombs all the cities in Kharkiv in Ukraine. Our God cares. And our God leaves it to us. We do not pray for peace. Because it's not God. who presses the trigger of the missiles that the Russians send flying to Ukraine. It's us. We press the trigger of the gun that explodes in the skulls of our brothers and sisters. We are the ones. We do not understand the God that we believe in, that Christ came to reveal. And so Blaise Pascal said, he was a philosopher, also a genius. He did not get his idea of God from philosophical books. He had a mystical experience that when he died, there was something on the sleeve of his shirt small piece of paper. He just said, fire, to describe his experience. Fire. Not the God of the philosophers and theologians, but the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our God is a living God. Our God is a loving God. As we receive Christ today in the Holy Eucharist, let us pray that we will have ever and Every day that passes by, every moment in our lives, we will have a deeper understanding of the Father that Christ came to reveal.
whoever loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him or her and reveal myself to him or her. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Our mind alone cannot really grasp the loving Father that Christ came to bring. We need divine grace coming from the Holy Spirit.